Lawmakers have less than two weeks to come up with a deal to keep the government open with an agreement on the border wall still at a stalemate. Mm, CBS Horace Claudia Benita spoke with one local representative who's making sure historical and cultural landmarks along the border are protected. As Washington continues to come up with a deal to prevent another government shutdown, local lawmakers are making it their priority to protect environmental and cultural areas along the southern border. Just be respectful of the local communities and don't trample over their private property rights. Congressman Henry Cuellar, along with Representative Vicente Gonzalez and Filemon Vela, have added new language to the Democratic proposal, preventing any wall funding from being used in protected areas along the border. The new proposal will protect five historical and cultural landmarks, including this one, La Lomita Chapel, which the city of Mission is named after, prohibiting any funds for any physical barriers to be built on these lands. Currently, the Diocese of Brownsville is fighting the federal government from allowing them to survey La Lomita's land for possible border wall use. 83-year-old Andrea Maria Chavez visits the chapel every day. She says she's sad about the lawsuit, but okay at the same time. She's faithful. God won't let it happen. Along with the chapel, the Santa Ana Wild Refuge, the SpaceX launch site, Benson State Park, and National Butterfly Center will also be protected in the proposal. While some contracts have already been awarded by Customs and Border Protection, Cuellar says they may be able to stop them with this proposal. If we're successful, and, and I'm hoping, I can't guarantee that, but I'm hoping that we're successful to stop it. Lawmakers making it clear these local landmarks are important for those living along the southern border. Reporting in Mission with Complete Valley coverage, Clara Benitez, CBS4 Valley Tonight. Lawmakers need to come up with a deal before February 15th to avoid another partial government shutdown.